Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another Let's Play with Wang. I'm your host, Slick Wang. Thank God for Aethercraft. Because, yeah, those of you guys that say that I'm abusing it, well, that's all I got to say. Because we got our stuff back. Um, there was mention of possibly a visual glitch. Maybe they just weren't appearing. Nah, they're gone. They were gone. So, lovely Aethercraft, we managed to just mm, duplicate our stuff. <laughs> That's about the only reason that I'm playing this is Aethercraft. Because, uh, yeah, otherwise, it would probably want about another day um, to, to get over how upset I was about all that. Okay, last episode, um, we started this whole thing um, wanting the Magnum Torch. So we need the Potion of Healing, uh, which is Instant Health 2, and Regen. So to do these, we needed to head out into the Nether, um, because we need some Nether Wart to start pretty much all of these potions, it looks like. Um, so, let's give that another go. Alright, thank God for the ability to fly, because, yeah, makes getting through here a lot easier. What is that? A cow of some kind? Yeah. 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 Got him. Hellfire. Oh god. fire. Thank you. Okay. Bingo. Bingo. Okay. What's that? You look a little different now. I've seen you. Okay. Let's get some wither wart. And we'll get some nether wart. Okay, now's the part where you stop. Let's get the f out of here. Alright, well, had to do a little reboot action. I don't know what was going on. I had, like, you know the websites where there's like a little video ad that'll just randomly play? I had that stuff going on in the background, which was kind of neat. Alright, so we need two water bottles. I wonder if I can, can I do... I just put both of you in there. Um, I don't remember if I said this before in the last episode, but this is the first time I've ever made a potion in Minecraft. I have never done a potion. Ever. <laughs> so, yeah. I, I, I manage. I manage. That's for sure. Okay. What happened? Hey. Oh. Interesting. Awkward potion, glistering melon. So speaking of firsts, you know, because I said, you know, this is my first time really making any potions. I had another first that I was actually going to tell you guys about uh, last episode, had it gone a little more nicely. Um, I went to a drive-in movie for the first time. And let me tell you, it sucked. It, oh, man. Our thinking was, you know, because I've got I've got my my boy who's three and a half, um, and then my daughter who's right at about two months or so, and you really don't get to go to movies or do anything like that um, when you've got little kids. 
you know, I mean, unless you want to be that guy in the theater, you know, um, or, or breastfeed in the back of the theater, that's always pretty, uh, entertaining. Um, so we, we decided, okay, well, let's go hit the drive, the drive-in, you know, because we've got, um, Book of Life is what we saw. Um, and we really wanted to watch that. Um, so it was like, well, okay, well, let's give this a go. You know, I've never done it. I'm like, sure, let's do it. Holy smokes. Ooh, Magnum Torch. You guys are going to love this thing. Um, so we we go out and we get into the uh, get into the drive-in and you know of course we're late because everything you do when you're a parent of small children you're going to be late too. Um, real quick, Magnum Torch. What this thing does, it blocks all regular mob spawning for like a 64 block radius. So 64 blocks that way, 64 blocks that way no regular mob spawning. Now it doesn't block special spawning, so things like um, uh, mob spawners or um, other things that make mob spawn. I'm, I'm not going to go through a huge list, but um, yeah, so creepers appearing down here and blowing our stuff up, not going to be happening again. No way. Um, so we, we get there, we're late, we're all starving because it's like 6.30, I had just gotten home from work because it was a Friday, and um, so it's like, okay, well, let's let's get jamming, let's get going, let's, let's get this thing done. So we get there, and okay, we need to eat. Okay, well, I send my, my fiance, she heads off to the snack bar, which is God knows where, um, and she leaves leaves my daughter in the truck with me. No big deal. Hang out with my daughter. It's all good. Oh no. About a minute and a half after mommy left, ooh, daughter's screaming. I have never heard this girl scream like that before in her entire life. I mean, I started looking, thinking you know, maybe I accidentally, like, hurt her somewhere, you know, like, maybe her foot was pinched somewhere, or I don't know, I, I had no idea, but just screaming and screaming and screaming, you would not believe it, um, so, I'm like, okay, I can, I can put up with this, this is, you know, part of being a parent, it's all good, we can handle it, well, 15 minutes later, daughter is still screaming. She is she is coughing and choking because she's screaming so hard. Wifey's still not back yet, so I give her a call because you know she should be back by now. This is getting a little crazy. Well, as the phone's ringing, I can hear her ringtone behind me. Hmm, she left her phone. So 30 solid minutes of baby screaming, just absolutely gut-wrenching screaming and mom finally shows back up and she goes we couldn't find you we don't know where to go my son is screaming and crying because who knows he's talking about wanting to see Sophia or you know and we're like what are you even talking about <laughs> um, so needless to say it was, it was not fun and one thing that they don't tell you about when uh, when you're becoming a parent, um, your kid crying, it does stuff to you. Like you you have this bodily reaction. By the way, what we're making this magical wood, pretty sweet. Um, but what I wanted to do, our filing cabinets, well, they have a magical filing cabinet thing. Basically, I think it holds more items. Not really that it matters for what I'm doing, um, but I, I wanted one that looked different so I could tell them apart, basically. So I'm going to put that there, and what we are going to store in it is going to be these safari balls. Boom. So all the little guys that I pick up, we can just store them in here and they won't clog up our ME system. Not like we have a storage issue. <laughs> so yeah. Um, your kid's crying. It it does something to you biologically. Um, 
I'm just guessing here, but I mean, you'd have to ask like an anthropologist. Why could I not think of that? I am not that guy. Um, but basically, like for me, my kid crying, I think it's caveman status stuff. Like my kid crying, my body goes into, you know, let's get ready to fight a saber tooth tiger mode or something. Um, I don't really know, but when my kids cry, I just, I have this urge to fight. So like, you know, if, if I was out somewhere and my kid had been crying and somebody crosses me the wrong way, I'm a little scared of what I would do. Just, I, your my blood, it, I mean, this is my reaction. I'm not saying this is everyone's reaction. Uh, my blood boils and it's not me being angry at my kid. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not mad at my kid for crying. Granted, that does get very frustrating sometimes, especially when you can't figure out what they want or it's something stupid. Um, but it, for me, it just boils my blood absolutely boils my blood so by the time needless to say by the time my fiance got back in the truck oh i was ready to just i wanted to scream and yell at her just i that's what i wanted to do um <laughs> getting in arguments especially in front of the kids is never a good idea but i didn't care i just i wanted to fight and uh luckily i think she picked up on it and she was frustrated so we didn't fight we just we didn't talk um, so if you're wondering how the movie was, Book of Life, as far as I know, it was good. I got to watch, like, the last, I don't know, 40 minutes of it or so. Um, yeah. What I could understand, I enjoyed. Um, but, yeah. So if you guys seen a good movie, let me know. Um, like I said, I don't get to get out and do much in the way of, of watching movies. Hell, I hardly get to watch them here. Um, but, yeah, if you guys see some good movies out there, let me know. Let me know, um, and let me know what you like about them, what you don't like about them. I, I like to hear about it. I can live vicariously through you guys. All right, so we we have secured our base. Magnum torch in there. We've got our filing cabinet here, which is just kind of a little mm, something, something I was wanting to do. Um, that's all well and good. Um, we accomplished. We accomplished what I really wanted to set out for in this episode. Um, I think I'm gonna yeah yeah do we have time I think we have time I think we've got time all right well a couple other little tweaky things that I've done um, made this little alcove for our uh, for our dart craft stuff I still need to light it up I haven't decided how I want to do that yet something hopefully kind of sneaky um, but we have two furnaces this one for freezing this one for grinding um, and of course room for two more here if we end up needing them for some reason um, now where we left off with this stuff before we got going on who knows how many other things we did um, we needed to go figure out how to bottle animals so we could get this um, now we finally have our force core of grinding so let's grind up a chicken and here we go making some golden power source for here I got a ton of force logs and nothing to really use them on so these little guys I guess they last forever beautiful got ourselves glass powder alright let's uh, you know what let's do the squid too why the hell not the only bad thing with doing this the byproduct ones just kinda shoot out so I don't really I don't really know what to do with that. Yeah, see, so we didn't uh, we didn't get anything that time. I wonder where it shot out. So that's basically our front porch. So let's see, maybe it maybe it shot out up front. Is it out here? Do you not get it every time? Hmm. Hmm. Maybe you just don't get it every time. Well, if you guys, uh, if you guys know of a, a quick and simple cure to that whole uh, stuff shooting out everywhere, let me know. It is kind of a waste that we're just, you know, 
one little thing on here. I, I understand that completely. False. What? Is that a glitch? Did we not get anything? Um... I don't know. Let's go find a mob or something. The hell false. Is it like a dummy? Is it like a gag? Enchantment? Okay. Seriously, Ars Magica? I got falling meteors, and then you're throwing falling meteors at me, too. Ridiculous. Hmm. Where do all of our dryads go? Hello, dryads. They're usually just crawling all over the place. Huh. Alright, well, screw it. We'll find them in a minute. Okay, next on our march of progress, clearly cobweb, clearly a uh, an arrow. So, I don't know how many arrows we can throw in there. Does that go on a bow? No. Does that go on a force arrow? No. But a pick. Can I actually only do one? Maybe. I can do one. Can I do two? I can do two. How about three? Just not four. Hmm. Okay. Let's see what that does. I put a redstone energy cell underneath there thinking, okay, it should output. Maybe it's not. I might have to just put a conduit and be like that. Ooh, bleeding! Mmm. I don't know if that'll shoot regular arrows or not. Okay, let's see what the cobweb does. Is that good? That's good. Oh, you know what? I bet this is silk touch. Silky material. Yeah. Alright, let's do that. Let's see what bleeding does. Oh! <laughs> I just realized. I was like, where the heck have all the mobs gone? Um, <laughs> our magnum torch. You guys were probably like, hey, stupid. What's wrong with you? You actually work to make it that way. Oh, my. Okay. Um, you know what? Screw it. Let's just kill a pig. Oh. Wasn't too bad. Um, I'm assuming the bleeding would be like... Um, like have an effect over a certain amount of time, I'm guessing. Hey, does false do anything to you? Anything at all? What the? <laughs> I'm being attacked by pigs. What? Okay, so evidently you can't kill them. <laughs> well, isn't that just a great enhancement? That's so stupid. Hmm. I don't know if I could come up with a reason why I would want that. Hmm. If you guys have a good reason why I would want a sword that can't actually kill anybody, you guys let me know. Let me know, because I'm curious now. I'm curious as to why I would not want to actually kill a mob. Hmm. I don't know. But let's see what our next little thingamabobby is. That's definitely a spider, right? What the heck is this? Increase the storage capacity of a storage unit. A storage unit? Um... Oh... Uh, maybe it's so... We can increase this. Chest tile box. Is that what it is? Storage unit upgrade. Okay, well how the heck do I make that? I have no crafting recipe. Is that a normal chest? Hmm. Okay, well, screw it. Let's try it out. I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. 
so chest tile box it kind of makes me think we need to pick it up so that way it's like an item in here but we have to do that in a special way so I'm thinking maybe if we load up our force wrench that I just made what happens if I whack it? If I shift whack it bingo <laughs> alright um, let's put you here I can't do that why not? Can I? What the? No! Okay, let's try this. If we go here, put you here, and I get that. Okay. Now, if I get... Where is... This one. Storage upgrade. Bingo. All right. Now, let's see. Can I put you in? I can't put you in. Why can I not put you in? What are you doing? Why can I not? Hi. What? What? I don't understand. Okay, well, I'm stumped. I don't... I don't really know. Do I have to put you... and then do that? Can I put you there now? Okay. Alright, well, I'm gonna have to call it there, because I don't know. I... I... I don't know. Um... Hmm. Well, what I wanted to do, I, I was trying to upgrade this, um, so that way we could get some serious storage, because next episode, um, I want to go on a little journey. I want to go on a little journey, have a little fun, and enjoy our awesome armor. That's what I want to do. So, it is what it is. Um, I'm going to do some checking out. We're basically out of time anyway. The editing this video is going to be a challenge because we did, we did a good bit of stuff. So, as always, guys, thank you. <laughs> Hi, pig. Oh, my God. As always, guys, thank you so, so much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. That stuff really helps me out. Um, I absolutely love the support you guys are giving me. Love the tips, all of that. Um, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. So thank you guys so much, and we'll see you in the next episode.